Well, good afternoon. Mike and I hunting a new permission. Nice house here. We've hunted this street many times. I uh, just got a signal that made me think I was digging a dime, but it was double hitting. Anyway, I pulled the grass away and I see something round and shiny. Where, where? And it's right here. If you can see it. We'll pull it up. It appears to be silver, but hard to say. That's silver. It's old silver, though. It does look kind of old. Got some markings inside, so that's good. Yeah, anyway, silver. Pretty, pretty good start. Tickle. We'll just keep going. To be honest with you, there hadn't been a lot in this yard. I have uh, covered not a half yet, but a good part of it. A lot of uh, old time pull tabs. Found the silver ring not far from where I am right now, but I had a 1345 signal, 1245, and I just exposed it and I see a silver rim. So Mikey's coming over to check it out too. But it is right here. I think it's a silver rim. You can see it right in. What is it? There it is. It looks silver. Yeah, it does. It is a Merc. There you go. Cool beans. Awesome. It is a Merc. What doesn't ring up at? 1345-1245. Looks like it's in pretty good shape, too. Yeah. What's the date on it? Uh, not sure. Hang on to this for a second. You thought the late things are in yet? No. Huh. It's going. Oh. Let's see what it says. Forty-four. Forty-four. Nineteen forty-four murder. Woo! And the World War Two. That's awesome. It was on edge too, wasn't it? Yep. Cool. Cleaned up nice though. Yep, that's super. You see that? I'll give them a close up. Try to do it nice and smooth. See if you can focus. Yep, 1944. And it's a D. Denver Mint. So, man, that thing is in fine shape. That's exciting. Front's a little worn. We'll see what else we can get. Woohoo! doing a remodel on the house next door and man let me tell you I went deep for this one it's a little bit off center on my plug but that's eight inches eight inches and I just exposed it it's cool clean it up a little bit it is a vintage gold bond tag not sure what it would have been used on I knew it had writing so I took my time cleaning it up but that is pretty cool. Gold bond. Not sure if that was foot powder back then or not, but that is pretty sweet. I'm digging that. We'll keep going. About halfway done with my side of the yard, and I popped this wheat scent, which I think is a 41, not a 100%. It's either a 1941 or a 1611. I'm going with 1941. Anyway. Cool weedy. Let's see what else we can get. Alright, my first weedy plug was there. Second weedy plug right next to it. And I believe it's another 41. But I'm not 100%. Those of you that watch my videos know I can't see squat. This one might be a 44. I think it's a 44. Anyway, nice little weedy. We'll keep going. Alrighty, I got a good high tone on this one. Pop the plug. I told Mike he was walking by. I said, you'll need to check this one out. And just exposed it live, and I believe, uh, live with Mike, I should say, mm. looks like it's probably going to be a Merc. Yes, it is. Clean as all get out on that side. Good deal. Wow. Another clean. good one. Another good Merc right here. Let's see if we can get a date on that one. This one looks pretty wiped, but... Hmm. You guys can see it, I know. I can't. It's like something nine, but... What's that? Mikey says he can he can tell me. Can you tell? I'm 
this 39. That's what I was thinking. But anyway, we'll keep going. I've never had a three a three silver yard for coins, so maybe this will be it. Woohoo! Mike and I grabbed a bite to eat before we came out, but Chinese restaurant down the road and every once in a while you catch catch a whiff of it, but I went all Chinese coin on them this time. And I think this is the older style. Uh, you guys remember my Qing Dynasty spill coins. This one was actually before the Qing Dynasty. So, awesome, awesome Chinese coin. And again, in our area, Springfield, Missouri, they had migrant workers from China that came through and put in the railroad. And we're in an area that is conducive to find things like that. So, pretty tickled with that. But you'll keep going. All right, it's taken me a while to get close to the house. Just keep finding stuff. Uh, not a whole lot of good stuff. Uh, but anyway, it did pop. What I believe is a 1917 wheat scent. Can't read it 100%. Awful green. Tell it's a wheat scent, though. So, we'll keep going. Don't have a whole lot more time, and then we'll have to truck on. So, see what else we can get. This came out nice, and I know it says the land of the big red apple, but... Folks, that's a tomato. In my opinion, that's a tomato. That's a fancy tag. I don't know if it says anything on the back, but check her when we get home. Anyway, cool find. Almost done. Mike's doing cleanup work on me, and I came next door. We got permission to hunt just the front yard here. I'm working up along this fence, and uh, just popped a bullet, and I can't really tell. Got some white patina on the bottom but I can't see a whole lot. It's kind of bright out here. It looks like it's been fired. I think it's modern, but we'll check it out when we get home. Cool find, just the same. We're about to call it quits. Uh, I got a 1243 signal. Worked down the slope, front slope. I'm sinking fill dirt, you know. Got down in here, and uh, it was actually back in here. Popped it out, and it's a ring, but I think it's a... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hang on just a second. That did way better than I thought it was going to do. I thought that was going to be junk. This might um, be something else. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. It's cleaning up nicely, so this is probably going to be another silver ring. I'm not sure. My fingers are muddy right now. No, it's going to be junk. It's too light. But anyway, it's a ring just the same. And I like rings. We're almost done. Gotta go.